<laughs> Better made. Came up with them thoroughbred swap world that was Detroit City. Moved out to the Gold State, California. I ain't come from love with me. Focus like Adderall. When I had a ball, I shattered boys. Shack fool in the 9 2 with vocab boy like Scattergore. One kid, but I'm sunny. What up, everybody? I'm Mark. This is M World Closet Collection. Thanks for hitting my channel up. If you want the videos on the freshest kicks, merch, etc., be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Shout out to the little master for the reminder. Today, we're going to be unboxing and reviewing the new Nike Air Jordan 5 in an alternate great colorway. The shoe released on July 7th for the price of 190 bucks, and it pretty much dropped everywhere. I was able to pick these bad boys up from eastbay.com, and they came pretty slow. Let's go ahead and hop into a review. Let me grab my shank, turn the safety off, because remember, safety first. When you couldn't open a box, make sure you cut away. Because trust me, you don't want to get shanked. Discard that. All right, let's crack these bad boys open. Let's check out that classic Jordan box. Discard that. All right, let's check these bad boys out. That purple was very nice. All right, and there you have it. The new Nike Air Jordan 5 in the alternate grape colorway. Let me know your initial thoughts in the comment section down below. All right, starting from the lateral side, you have this classic Nike Air Jordan 5 silhouette, but this time in the alternate grape colorway. From the bottom, you got like this clear ice outsole that's kind of wrapping up onto the midsole. The midsole itself is primarily in black, but it has a few splashes of like turquoise uh, coming up with black speckles going through it. Moving up, you have this plush purple, a really dark royal purple suede, basically throughout the whole shoe. Then you have like this clear grating. It's like a clear rubber grating right here at the midfoot, and underneath that, it's like a black mesh. Rolling around to the front of the shoe, you have more of this black midsole wrapping around the toe. Right above that, you have this toe box panel that's got this purple suede going on it. And it's all at the toe as well. Then moving up, you have these flat black laces that's weaving through the eyelets. Eyelets are shared with this purple suede as well as this black like plastic. Underneath that, you have this tongue that's in this like an anthracite or this clear grating and it's like black underneath it. Looks just like the side of the shoe. The top of the tongue, you have an anthracite uh, paneling with a turquoise Jordan symbol. Moving to the inside of the shoe, you have like this uh, black sock liner that's very well padded. You have a turquoise insole with a black Jordan symbol. I'll give you a closer look at that. So here's the insole, it's all turquoise, and it has a black Jordan symbol. Rolling around to the medial side of the shoe, or the arch side as I call it, it's pretty much a mirror image of the lateral side or the outside of the shoe. with a very small change in the outsole spilling up and in this turquoise detailing. Rolling around to the rear of the shoe, you have more of that ice outsole spilling up onto the black midsole. And then you have a black Jordan symbol sitting on top of this purple suede. And it looks like this suede up at the top is a little bit more uh, finer than this plush suede at the bottom. It's a nice touch. Rolling around to the bottom of the shoe, you have a classic Nike Air Jordan 5 outsole and you have the ice and the black uh, paneling, and then you have a purple Jordan symbol busting through in the front. So I want to do a quick comparison of the Nike Air Jordan 5 top threes. Let's check it out. So here we have the Nike Air Jordan 5 in the top three colorway. Let's do a comparison to see the difference. So off top, I can see that the top fives have this like new buck or this very, very fine suede. Compare this on alternate grapes. This suede is very plush, very plush. Even the thinner suede up top, is nowhere near as thin as this on the top threes. Then the gradings on the side, this is like a, it's like a gray or anthracite compared to this ice on here. And same with the tongues. Now, even on the tongue, you can see they both have like a turquoise Jordan symbol, but it's a little bit more like finer on the alternate grapes. Seem like a little bit more embroidered 
on the top threes. And even the purples aren't the same uh, from each shoe. You also have a 23 on the top threes. It's blank on the rear panel over here on alternate grapes. And then on the rear of the shoe, you have the Nike Air logo on the top threes, and you have a Jordan logo on alternate grapes. The bottom of the shoes are pretty much identical, except for the black paneling, and then you have turquoise on one and purple on the other for the Jordan logo. All in all, this is a very solid shoe. It looks very great in person, way better than it does online. So tell me, did you pick up the new Nike Air Jordan 5 in the alternate grape colorway? Let me know in the comment section down below. I haven't made my mind up yet if I'm gonna keep these or not. I'm not sure. I really don't keep many Jordans, but these look very nice. As far as resale, resale is pretty much non-existent. You may get like 30, maybe 40 bucks over retail if you decide to sell these. So once again, I want to thank everyone for tuning into my channel and showing me all the love. I really appreciate it. Let's keep the momentum going. And as my little son say, don't be a stupid dumb hater. Like and subscribe. Holla. I put 10,000 hours in. We don't throw no tiles in. Work, 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 work. Work, 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 work. Put the work in. If it's money on the floor, girl, put some work in. I'll be damned if what I do, I ain't the best at it. Gotta go that extra mile, then the rest that it push. Push, 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 push. Put the work in. If it ain't about no money, it ain't working.